Brian with Crawl Space Rats. And we're about to figure out how to solve this right now. So we get a call from Brian who's been dealing with a lot of noise underneath this crawl space. He hired a rodent company. They were able to detect a hole in the crawl space and said, hey, they're gonna need the plumbers out here to solve this. He found us and we're about to figure out if there's just one hole or just the one that the rodent company found. How are you? Okay, I'm David. David, David. Yes, nice, David. nice, to, nice meet to meet you. So tell me a little bit about your rodent issue. You had you had rats coming inside your home? Yeah, yeah. We think they're the sewer line. Well, here's what to expect today. We're going to go ahead and run our camera, investigate, just kind of look at all the runways inside the sewer pipe. Yeah, oh, shoot, you got to... Yeah. You know, oh, nice. Yeah. yeah, it looks like it's been cannibalized because look at they've eaten. Uh-huh. Ooh, nice catch. Oh, there's a hole right here. Let's see here. Oh, shoot, that's a burrow. Whew. Oh, God, I can smell it. It smells awful. I can, sm when I put my nose down here, Brian, it yeah. smells, there's a lot of rodent urine. So it's, this is a very, very active spot. But what's interesting about it is that your plumbing may run through here, but the, the burrow is actually running right here, which is interesting. It just doesn't make sense. So what we'll do is I'll run my little micro camera down here as well. So this is the, the monitor. Uh -huh. You see that good looking guy? And then yeah, right. the better looking guy's right here. Yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, a lot of rodent droppings, Brian. So this is definitely gonna be more than likely their little nesting spot. Looks like a clean rag too, or like a pair of pants. You missing a pair of pants, Brian? Your pants, put them in the bag. So as you can see, there's no parking. And guys didn't listen to me. I have no crawl suit. Got one mask, so I'm gonna have to get dirty. It's barely 10 o'clock in the morning. We're just not all the way prepared to be crawling right now. I'm gonna have to get dirty. Roman technician said he saw a cracked pipe here. That's what I'm looking for. A lot of rodent droppings right here. Nest. Look at that. No cracks here. Okay, so the sewer pipe, you can see it dives down this way towards this area right here. Bet you that sewer pipe exits right here to the side of the house. Anytime you see this four inch pipe right here, this allows us to easily run our camera. Through the lens of the camera, we can see if there's an opening there. Look at this one. This is an old trap. From under the crawl space, it looks like the pipe comes out this way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up on the roof and run our sewer camera down the four inch vent stack, which will get us into this area right here. We'll see if we could see a hole in the old sewer pipe here, okay? Because I think from right now, from what I'm assuming that's happening, is that the cast iron underground has deteriorated and they've used that hole to their advantage and then burrowing their way into the crawl space. Because we didn't have a crawl suit, now I gotta drive around all dirty. I got two other jobs after this as well. So I'm gonna try and punch here. But it's not fun driving around full of dust, especially your pants and brand new boots. These are my new shoes. You guys can remember underneath the crawl space? This is what we were looking for right here. Let's get this thing out of here. Let's take a quick little sniff. Too. I think it's too far away. Kenny, get the camera ready. Here, hold my gum. Okay, so now we're in the horizontal, going towards the crawl space. Never know, guys, we could see a rat here. Peekaboo! Ooh, right there. See that hole right there, guys? This is the hole right here. You can see that there's no dirt under there either, so this is where they're getting in. It makes sense because right here is the bottom of the camera. This is where the water flows. They're coming up through here and burrowing right into the the crawl space. Look, boom. That was fast. Well, that saved us a ton of time. We're gonna have to bring out our smoke machine and do all of that. So the cameras 
are a good choice to run down the sewer mains or vent pipes to see if you can see those type of holes. A lot of times you can't, but in this situation, I was able to crawl underneath the crawl space, map out how that sewer pipe is running, and that really gave me the insight on to run this camera down, because a lot of times this older system, cameras can't maneuver through all those old fittings. All right, let's go share uh, with Brian what we found. See that hole there? This is old cast iron pipe. It's got a lifespan of like 40 or 50 years. Yeah. So it's deteriorating. So this is breaking down. The sewer rats, what happens is they're very, very sharp. They're able to sense this opening here. Yeah. So they came in here and they burrowed up hit the sand and then came this way and that's how they've been accessing your crawl space. Huh. Yeah, it's gonna be in this area here. What I'm trying to decipher is if we're gonna be able to do the repair without opening up the concrete, but more than likely, we're gonna have to do what we call a spot repair, where we saw cut this concrete out, dig down and cut that section out. There might be a turn here, so we were gonna have to connect it over here somewhere. Ooh, that sounds complicated. So let's dig out uh, as much as we can to, get to access that hole. Uh, Brian wants us to set a trap there again. So a lot of people ask, hey, will rat traps still work if uh, there's blood and stuff on the traps? Absolutely. If they're hungry, they're gonna eat it. I mean, they're not picky, these people. Peanut butter there. Okay, so as you can see, Brian has agreed to move forward to open up that concrete. We're gonna dig down, identify the condition of that cast iron. Although we saw it from the inside, what is it gonna look like on the outside? And I'm looking forward to seeing how big that hole or how small that hole was, where they were coming in and out. It's gonna be interesting to see the, the soil as well as that little rag or that blue jeans that I found. That's all coming to you right now. Meanwhile. Okay guys, I'm on another job here. I'm gonna get these guys going and then we got to head back to that rodent job here but this is pretty cool video that I wanted to offer you guys some insight when you have that old cast iron pipe it's not as sexy and and fascinating as rodents but it's pretty cool technology that I think you'll appreciate what are we waiting for let's do it okay we're prepping out here for an epoxy coating this is all cast iron pipe we can't replace this cast iron with plastic or ABS because it's a fire hazard it's a code compliant that this has to stay in the garage with cast iron pipe so what we're going to do is yes there is an option to remove all this and go back with cast iron but eventually you're going to end up coming back with these spots right here we call them little cancer spots in the cast iron that's when the cast iron is deteriorating and it starts to cause leaks so this is our descaling machine called a mini miller basically what you do is turn it on right, right here with this pedal and these chains whip around. These chains here are really effective in removing buildup inside cast iron pipe. Well, a lot of people question, well, those are gonna completely demolish my old cast iron pipes. And it's not, I'm gonna show you, we're gonna be putting the chains right where all those old rusty marks are. And you'll see it's not gonna have any damage to the pipe whatsoever. We're about right here. Come down. I guess you're right all along, huh? So we've descaled the, the entire line, ran a water hose to flush all the debris down so you could see all the rust. There's no debris and you can even actually hear the sound of the camera. If there was a lot of debris on the surface of this pipe, you wouldn't hear that scraping sound. We're gonna now put it on high speed and do a second pass so that way we really get the surface nice and smooth. Okay, so this is a kitchen line here. It's far to give you a before shot. Look at the compaction there. Damn, that's nasty. You're probably wondering, well, how is that even draining? Kitchen lines are notorious for this type of buildup right here. Okay, so the kitchen line is completely descaled and rinsed. Are we ready for coating yet? Yes, we are. All right, check out the difference here. Right, it's just wide open. Look at that. You could perform surgery in there. It's so clean. All right, we are ready for coating. All right, so we're starting to see some of the epoxy releasing into the drain. OK, 
Okay, so here's the after. I think it's right here on top of that. Well, here they go. It's beautiful, isn't it? All right, so you guys get the idea of what you can do to rehabilitate those old cast iron pipes. Let's get back to those rodents. So that's the Hollywood Hills here. Coming up ahead of us is gonna be Universal Studios. I don't know if you can see, guys, that flag way up ahead of me there. That's Universal Studios. Not the best shot, but at least gives you an idea where I'm at. This area right here is where all the major studios are. Warner Brothers, Disney, where a lot of the shows are being filmed. In fact, a quick little fun fact, me and Jimmy auditioned with uh, Shannon Doherty for this part right here. We got the audition one block that way. We got the part. What got us the part was this laugh right here. <laughs> David Effenbeck. I'm David Effenbeck. Oscar winning performance, right? I don't think so. That's why I ended up becoming a ratter. A few moments later. Oh, the burrow's way over here. Oh my gosh. But how did they know to burrow this way? Why didn't they burrow that way? Why didn't they burrow this way? How did they know to burrow this way here? I mean, I've been doing this for 20 something years and I still can't understand the intelligence of how they know where to dig to get into this 18 inch space right here. The inner machinations of my mind are an enigma. This is that in the camera is what I was getting. Oh, it's an old, an old pant leg, Brian. Oh, look at this hole right here. This is where it's at. You can see the grease mark right here. This is cause this is clay pipe. This is the hole they're coming up through. Then they burrowed their way through this way into the crawl space. I need something to block this cause we're getting dirt inside the pipe. This is coming in handy. <laughs> we're gonna set up our Victor rat trap. See if we can catch ourselves a big sewer rat. Ooh, look at this. Let's see. I asked Brian to run the toilet to flush all the debris down. You could see this has been leaking for a while as well. We're gonna take this out because the aggressiveness of the sewer rats here chewing through this. We're gonna shoot a, a liner down here about 40 feet. Seal up all these gaps right here. We're gonna be doing that tomorrow. Look how much water is leaking out of here. Jeez. The water's leaking, you know, it's very messy. Okay, so I've rigged up a Victor rat trap right from the hole here. Yeah, this is perfect. Day two. Okay, my crew got the liner done. And you won't believe what they pulled out of that hole. The suspense is killing me, Brian. Here's the brand new liner here. So this is a completely sealed pipe, 40 feet that way. Check out the rat that we caught out of here. Okay, looks like we got one. There he is. He came right up, went for that bait, got him. We got him! Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and install, make this connection here. Most important because of the aggressiveness, we're gonna go ahead and install a backflow device here. All right, guys, so we have a little bit of an issue here. It's a big hole in the cast iron, but Brian just doesn't wanna spend the money and replace all this old piping yet. So what we're gonna do is we utilize this, but we're gonna adhere it to the pipe much better and then recompress it with this. That'll, that'll hold up. The good thing is that the hole's on the top, not at the bottom. So you're never gonna have a leak here and the rats won't chew through here. We'll just take this so it doesn't rust out. We'll slide that like that. And then that'll compress back. And then we'll just retighten this up. Because we're dealing with aggressive rats, they can still possibly chew through this plastic material here. So what we do is we trim a piece of the fused metal mesh. What we do is we lift this rubber up and then slide the mesh underneath the rubber here. You'll see right now. Okay, so that's what it looks like. And then what we do to seal this and protect the metal from rusting out,
and that'll fuse it to the plastic and offer protection from moisture from resting this out. Brian, do you mind uh, flushing a toilet just so we could test to make sure there's no leaks here? Brian's decided to do the back filling, all the concrete. He's got a friend of his that's gonna do the concrete here. So we're just gonna check for leaks, put a little bit of compaction here around just to support our pipes, and we're good. Looks good. All done. Okay, so we got that on. I'm just gonna slide this piece of wood like that so that way there's no cats or possums get in underneath his house. What about the rat dance? Oh, the rat dance, all right. <laughs> All right, it's all done. I'm still shocked that the rats can chew through that clay pipe. It amazes me. Anyways, guys, appreciate all the support out there that you offer us. Leave those comments, hit that subscribe button, share those videos. We'll see you on the next one.